So we've got some more personal questions now. All right. um, not really personal, personal. Um, Tash Loves SPN said that she has heard that you love playing Guitar Hero huh? and would like to know what your favourite song is and what level you are up to. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I love from the original, I love playing, um, uh, or maybe it wasn't the original. I, I know I have a few of the games, so I don't remember which is which. But I love uh, Free Bird. It's fun to play because it's like nine minutes long. And I can beat it on hard. I can get five stars on everything on medium, and I can get like 100% on most of the songs. <laughs> but um, but I, can, I, can, I can beat a few songs on expert, and I can beat the game on hard. But medium is my forte. Okay, so everyone's going to start playing Guitar Hero on hard just because <laughs> you said that. Okay, um, Jess Winchester asked whether you have a favorite stunt that you have done yourself in either Supernatural or any other TV series or movie? Um, oh wow, a favorite stunt that I've done myself. Well, I haven't done a whole lot of stunts in the movies, I suppose. Um, supernatural, um, it would have to be something supernatural because we've been harnessed and like thrown across rooms and stuff like that and that's always fun. But I think my favorite stunt probably goes back to way back in season one, an episode called Skin. Um, and it, there was a big fight scene between Sam and Shapeshifter Dean. And that was a lot of fun. And we worked on it, and we've been taking fight training, and we like, came in on the weekends to work on the fight scene. And so um, you get there, and you start doing it, and it's all day long, and you're so beat up and sore, and you're like crashing through this and crashing through that. And you're like playing fake fight. You feel like a champ, and you're like throwing <laughs> kicks and punches and hitting stuff, and you just feel really cool. And so that was a lot of fun. Plus, not only was it fun to shoot and the stunt sequence was fun, but it was a great episode to watch, you know? A sick puppy has asked whether there is a question that you have always wanted someone to ask you, but you've never been asked. Wow. <laughs> um, you know, I've been asked so many questions. Um, not like I've been asked so many questions. Uh, but <laughs> there have been a lot of people who have asked very interesting questions. And I'm always like, oh, that's a very interesting question. Um, nothing specifically that I'd like to be asked. Um, maybe like, do you want a million dollars for free? I think that'd be a nice question. And I've never been asked it. So if she knows anybody that wants to ask me that question. Oh, she'll uh, probably ask you that question. No, there are no, que <laughs> there are no, <laughs> there are no questions um, I'm after specifically. I enjoy what everybody has to ask and what everybody sort of wonders. And I mean, my brain thinks a lot of questions myself, you know? But it's, it's interesting hearing other people. One thing I love about these conventions, like I'm doing right now, is the Q&A session. Inevitably, someone will come up and just have a random question. And I'm like, oh my god. And I feel like I'm becoming better at playing Sam Winchester because I'm thinking about something that they've asked me. I wish I could think of a specific example. But, um, but I love just people's random questions. Because every now and again, it makes you think. And you're like, cool, I'm going to you know, bring that into the show somehow. So okay. basically every question. OK, last one. OK. Dragonfly Wings said, you've been to Australia a few times for work, but would you ever consider coming here for a holiday? Just a random holiday. Absolutely. Um, and what's your favorite attraction in Australia? OK. Um, I have been here for a few times for work. And luckily, um, the first time I was here was for A Ring of Endless Light, which is a Disney Channel movie. And I was here shooting for a month and a half. And then I stayed after for three weeks afterwards and drove from Brisbane to Sydney. Um, and then flew to Cairns. Um, and then House of Wax, for those who haven't seen it, close your ears, but I die in it. And so I was here for four months <laughs> and I didn't shoot the whole time. There were times when I'd have off for like two weeks. And like, you're shooting, we'll see you in two weeks. You're like, okay. So I'd go drive around, I had a rental car and I'd go, you know, went to Cairns, um, went to Great Barrier Reef a few times. Um, my favorite attraction, I loved, I, there's something I love about going to a foreign country and renting a car and driving. And so my favorite experience that I had from either Australia trip was probably driving down the coast, the eastern coast from, from Brisbane to uh, Sydney. Because you just kind of stop at bed and breakfast and we stopped in Coffs Harbor and Byron Bay. Byron Bay was wicked. Um, and so just kind of going on a road trip, you know, you feel like you really, like in, are experiencing the city and driving on a crazy side of the road and stopping at weird places and just having chicken and stuff like that. 